Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Fans, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Their leader, Joseph Seed. They call him the father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see.
Be in the church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can spook easily. Rook, on me. Stay loose, huh? What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Nancy. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges like that here. I respect the 9 millimeter. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet pressure. Stop that! Hey, what are you doing here? You don't want me to go over this. Oh, shoot for the phone. They need to leave us in peace. Go now. Oh, Marshal. When we do this, we do it my way. Quietly. Calmly. You got it? Fine. Hudson on the door. Watch our backs. Don't let any of these people get in. Rookie? On me. And you? Just... Try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us, take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, sure, come out alone. We will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, sure, there not will be no more afraid. suffering. I'll find it. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. You go back to where you came from. Here they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Oh, moment would come. We've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see! Step. Forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. Keep up. I 
I'm a federal marshal. I'm ordering you to stand back. Stop around. Dispatch. Oh my god. Everything is just fine here. No need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. And we will take what we need. And we will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in our way. And these, the harbingers of doom, will see the truth. We gotta get out of here. Begin the refit!
I felt Matthew. It's bad. They ambushed him. He's dead. We need to find those sinners. Matt? They got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Okay, shh. They're in there! Smart. We don't know who we can trust. Fucking Nancy. Oh no. Oh no. They got the roads blocked. Fuck! 
fucking plane? Don't you tell me they have fucking air support. My children, we must give thanks to God. The day I have prophesied to you has arrived. Everything I told you has come true. The authorities who tried to take me from you are now in the loving embrace of my family. Save for one. shit means it means the roads have all been closed it means the phone lines have been cut it means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley but mostly it means we're all fucked goddamn collapse they all think the world's coming to an end now They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Fuck. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation.
is Dutch. Anybody? You ready to work? I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's gotta be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're gonna do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Be careful out there. It's crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that. Thanks, Dick. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away.
down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. These folks should have been more generous. <laughs> Bone to pick with that cult. Hey, deputy. Now that you're partnered up, the day you should head to the forest research station. Ghosts been crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn. Bo our faces, not stopping, never taking notice to the pain and the suffering of those around us, because we need to raise them.
If we can squirrel away enough gear, the project will be in good shape for whatever comes next. We serve the Father. Only the strong survive. It's true for nature, and true for us. Amen, that. Big sky all around. Never seen anything could meet its match. Huge problem. We're trapped. We're fucking trapped. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch, John C. You see them Peggy's take off of my plane? I need it back. That was our only chance of getting out. Look, I'd go myself, but my wife's pregnant and due any second, and I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, without that plane, we're fucked. Please, I, my family needs your help. I'm sorry. I don't like getting emotional. Name's Nick, by the way. Look, if I know the cult, they've taken my plane to John Seed's ranch. It's got the only other airstrip big enough to land the thing. I know it's a lot to ask, but I'm desperate, partner. <laughs> 